Yo, this is Itano Plays Pokemon Gold. It is time to head into the final dungeon of the game, Mount Silver. But first, let me show you my Pokemon team. I've been leveling them quite a bit, and now they are much higher levels. As you can see, Golduck 58, Ho 57, 56, Sandslash 57, Victory Bell, evolved it, 56, Lugia still 70, and Muscle is 60. Now, how did I get Victory Bell? Do you remember Bill's grandpa in uh, the Cerulean Cape? If you show him Licky Tongue, he will give you an Everstone. After that, he will ask you to show you a green round Pokemon with leaves on its head, which is of course Oddish. Show him Oddish, and he will give you the Leaf Stone. Next, he will start asking for other items like uh, some other Pokemon, and you can get Fire Stone, you can get Water Stone, and you can get more stuff like that. So that's how you basically get. Um, that Pokemon on your team, you need to get to Bill's Grandpa. So, this is gonna be my final team as we enter the final dungeon, Mount Silver. Again, to get to Mount Silver, you need to go to Viridian City, then you head west. You go up here, this is where we had the rival battle in Generation 1. No rival battle here, we already had that one with uh, Silver or Danny in Mount Moon, he will now be showing up in uh, the Legal Plateau. So we're here again, up here to the two road, down here to the road south, towards New York Town, and we want to go here. This is Route 28. This is the place towards the Mount Silver area. Pokemon in this place here, Wild, are up to level 30 to 40 plus. A great place to train wild Pokemon without doubt. Let for example, see here. Ponyta, level 40. I'm actually going to train with it. I mean, why? Why not? So this is a great place to train Pokemon. There's also some really nice Pokemon you can capture here as well in the wild, so. If you want to get your collection done, you need to come here and get some nice Pokémon. Some of the Pokémon are only available in this place, at least in gold and silver. We're gonna go down to the southern part of the road. Tangela. I'm not just gonna run from this one, this takes a much better long time. Pokemon to appear, that's fine. I mean, there's not much to do in Mount Silver before the last thing we will do. Another Ponyta. Just gonna run away from it. Just to show that the wild Pokemon are really strong here. And see here a Pokemon Center. Trainers who seek power climb Mount Silver despite its many dangers. With their trusted Pokemon, they must feel they can go anywhere! It is, this is the highest level wild Pokemon place in Generation 2 by far. Here yeah, we can go and heal up our Pokemon, this is the final Pokemon Center. Another cool thing though, remember that we came to this place from Viridian City in Kanto? Well, if you go to your Pokemon now and select Fly, you're in Johto! You can even fly to this place. You need to fly to some other places now, you can do that in Yoto. Uh, to get to Kanto, you just need to go here, then walk east towards the entrance of this route. You can fly in Kanto. So you don't even need to do the uh, trains anymore. You can, of course, if you want to, or else you can just go here and wander around. So that is basically about, um, about that. This is basically Route 28, the final route. There's uh, no more guards here, there are no trainers here either. Not much to really do in this place, you can train of course if you want to, if not, then let us get ready to go inside the final dungeon of Pokemon Gold Silver Crystal. And of course some random battles, I'm not gonna use repels here because else this video will only be taking like 10 minutes and I want to have a bit longer duration. There we go. Mount Silver. Yeah, this is on music, which I actually really like. It's 
it's pitch black in here, so you need flash to progress in this place if you want to do it properly. And of course there's some nice items to get here too. Here we find extra curacy, which you probably don't really need at this time, but maybe you want to keep it. And we get escape rope. If you are in the ends of this dungeon and you don't want to stay here, you can use the escape rope to get away, but the don't is not too big, it's mainly about these kind of Pokémon. Onyx, level 42. It's getting pretty decent in level, but I'm not gonna waste time on these ones. Let's go up, go up and up, and then go down here. This rock in the middle there has some hidden item, we can just go and take a look at it. Another Onyx. I'm not gonna bother. Onyx is not too much XP to get, so I'm just gonna skip it. A wild Pokemon too. Ah. Ursaring. Ursaring is a Pokemon Gold exclusive evolved evolve version of Teddy Ursa. And if you play Pokemon Silver here, you'll instead be meeting uh, Dunthan. Dire hit. To increase the critical chit chance in combat. And go up here. Don't need to go through down here, just go up here. get yourself Max Elixir. And Max Elixir, of course, always nice to have if you're training here. Just keep on jumping up and down these places. And another wild Pokemon, let's see who we face this time. Another Ursaring. Ursaring as well is a normal type Pokemon, so if you have fighting types, the Ursaring will go down pretty decently. Let me just show you that he's pretty bulky. Thank you. I think his moveset is not really the best, but he is still pretty tanky. Oh, never mind, I guess not tanky enough. Yeah, maybe just gold deck too strong. Not much to see and do here. Maybe an item in the bottom here. The wild Pokemon at least appears. Onyx. Okay, Onyx, I'll, I'll take you on. If you really are so desperate to fight, let's just take you on. The waterfall is the end of Onyx. No way he survives that. He's so low special defense. And I get solid XP. Ultra Ball. Always nice to have to get your collection finished. This is a good place to get some of the final Pokémon. Another battle occurs. Graveler. The old form of Geodude. I think Graveler and those the whole family has become better to use in, in new generations, but in this generation, nah, I don't really like it. It's just too weak. It's extremely bulky versus physical attackers, but physical and special abilities was changed in generation number. Alright, in here, the stairs up there, we're not gonna go there yet. Let's instead go and surf. So you want to collect all the items here, need surf, flash, and waterfall. Seeking. 35, so they're pretty decently leveled here as well. Not gonna bother with the seeking now. Let's go use the waterfall, so you can go up here. Another wild Pokemon appears. Another Seeky. 36. Nah. Not the color butter. Sorry, Seeking. Maybe next time. Nothing up here. We can go up here, though, and see in this game. Max Revive. You will certainly want this for what's gonna come. Well, Pokemon occur. Uh, it's a Quagsire. 
Quagsire, they evolve from a Wooper. Quagsire is a dual type. Water and ground means that it is extremely weak to grass. But the good thing about uh, water and ground is that if you fight electric Pokemon, you can just laugh at them because they can't even hurt you, despite your weakness to electric as a water type. The Quagsire looks a bit silly as well. Like those small people eyes and a smile. He's like a troll. Troll Sire, maybe. I mean, Quagsire is the other Pokemon of Quagmire from Family Guy. Like Quagmire and Quagsire, it's like the family. Only missing Quagmires now, not no Quagsires. Let's just continue up here. Man, the Quagsires are persistent today. They're just only facing them right now. Should I take you down in Quagsire? Might as well. Since it's a uh, water and ground type, it will take normal damage from water attacks and ice attacks as well. It's also pretty tanky, but Cold Duck is too strong. Man, the Pokemon are so persistent. Is it quite hard again? No, it's. Oh, talk about it. It's Gold Duck. Level 48, that's the highest level we've faced so far. But not gonna fight Gold or Skullduck. Let's go down here and go and surf the waves. And go in the waterfall. And we go inside here for another goody goody. It is full restore. Yeah, you also want to have the full restore for sure. Would be very nice to have. Another Pokemon appears, who can it be? Quagsire. I thought I already beaten you, Quagsire. Stop following me. Such a troll Pokemon. Get away from me, please. So we go and surf the water again. Monster is not really too big. This entrance here leads to uh, our destination. Let's see if we can find this rare Pokemon in this place. No, just Quagsires. The thing is that there's a Pokemon that is very good in the end. It's a Pokemon called Larvitar. You can, you can capture here. And it evolves at level 55, or basically level 40, I think, to Puppetar. At 55 or 58, or maybe it's in the 60s. He becomes Tyranitar. Tyranitar is a rock and dark type, dual type Pokemon, very strong. Heavily recommended if you want to uh, build a new team. It's just about to get it very late in the game, so you can't really get to use it during the game, but it's okay. Now the change of color, change of scenery. And now I know it's only pretty early, it's only 13, 14, 15 minutes in this video, but I'm actually going to stop here because what we're going to do now in the next video is going to be the ultimate challenge for you as a Pokemon trainer. I'm just warning you, it's going to be tough. Make sure your Pokemon are decent leveled. You should Pokemon to be at least level 50. You can probably do it with le le less than 50, but it's going to be very, very tough. You might need a lot of extra uh, max revives and full restores. Put on your best items and so on that you have. You need for experience sharing and so here, but just keep on being ready for whatever is going to come to you for this battle, it's going to come. So for example a muscle, I'm going to put on some cool item here. What do we need on him? Quick Law, we can do Quick Law. He's not the slowest guy, we can just probably use Quick Law. Let's check if everyone has what they should have. Mystic Water, Try big for flying. Experience share, Miracle Seed, Leftovers, and Quick Claw. Yeah, I think that should be fine. I do should probably have had the Charcoal instead for a ho -Oh, but ho -Oh should be strong enough anyways to take on what's gonna come, but it's going to be very tough. I have 5 max revives, I have all restores times 2, I have revives, I have hyper potions, 
I should have everything I need for this battle, but it's going to be very, very tough. So make sure you have good levels here. I'm gonna save my game because this is going to be tough. And in the next part will be the final part of Pokemon Gold Let's Play from me. It's kind of weird to think that we're already reaching part 51 here, and next part will be 52. Will be the final part. We will go and beat the game fully. Just be aware though, this next challenge is easily the toughest thing you have faced so far in both Generation 1 and 2. So have your Pokemon ready and get set for it. One last thing I'll do is to change the lineup here. Sand Slash will be going first in the next battle, or the next part. And then, I will say Hell is about to break loose, because it's going to be a very, very interesting encounter. So. If you have any feedback on my let's play or want to discuss this game, leave a comment below this video. If you want to notify when I upload more parts, more stuff on my channel, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button. With that, I just want to say thank you for watching, and I'll see you all next time.